just for the duration of the time that we speak together, could I ask you that you don't mention the past, because it is not going to be helpful. Like what you have done before, what your practice has been in the past. No, we don't need it for now. If what you wish to discover is your true nature, then please don't talk about past. Can we agree with this? Yes. yes. And let's not talk about in the future. In the future, I want to be a yoga teacher. I want to drop. No, don't want to, we don't need to hear about that. Let it just unfold. Would that be okay to say? Yes. Then I also ask. Um, uh, Whatever idea you have of who you are, whatever concepts you hold about yourself, could we just uh, not talk? Just leave that. Leave it aside for the moment, just for the short duration of this guidance. Can you do this? Then I say, then leave all these things already. If you are able to leave that, that is already something very great. Just leave it. Don't kill it. Don't try to fight it. Just leave it aside, as you well can do. Leave it aside just for a short bit. And don't be expecting anything. Oh yes, wow, I'm I'm really gonna get no. Just be empty. Just be empty. Don't even have in your mind the desire to be awakened. Just be just empty. Zero zero. Drop everything, all your intention, all these things, just leave them aside for a moment. We can do this or not? Yes. You, sir? I can. Yes. And I say, don't worry. Hmm? If you leave them aside, at the end of the invitation, if you want them back, I can guarantee you they'll still be there. Because nobody's gonna steal your stuff. Not this stuff. Okay? So we can relax with this for a moment. Just be empty, empty, empty. Even of, even of the concept of emptiness, just drop everything. And don't be waiting for what's next. Just stay as you are. Empty. You're not a, con- you're not a container for ideas or concepts. Just empty. So I had to invite you to this place where you are just not wearing any concepts or any fantasies. I am not going to ask you to use your imagination or to visualise anything at all. Just be empty of it. So even if you feel that there's the mind is, is jumping, it doesn't matter, let it jump, at least it is to the side, you are not engaged with that. You are just here. Just just pay attention to how you are here. You know you exist. You know that you are. <coughs> but also, there is a sort of an awareness of your existence and like a a sense of being. What is it that is here, that does not belong to time? It is not a story. You are just here. Even the senses you are aware of, we are not suppressing the senses, but I am not talking about the senses, or the sense objects, but just the field of awareness itself. So I had to ask you just to be like this, so I can ask you just a few simple questions about this. This that is here, is it an object? I would like you to just respond from just respond. You don't have to think now, because the mind you have left aside now, your habits you have left aside, memory you have left aside, your possessions you have left aside, your dreams you have left aside. You're only here. 
what is here? I ask you, is it, is it an object? You say, no, it is not an object. Just stay as you are. Does it have any shape or size? No. Does it have history? No. Does it come with a story? No. Could it be captured in any way? Like, say, suppose you have the most modern, scientifically perfect camera. Could it be photographed? Can it suffer depression or jealousy or fear? No. No, no just this. Stay as you are. Can it fade? Is there any boundary beyond which it is not? Did you create it? No. Does it depend on your belief to exist? Did it come from anywhere? Is it possible that knowing this, being aware of this, now if you fell asleep, when you wake up, it will disappear? Can it be kept? No. Okay. Now ask you this one. Was it born? No. Then can it die? No. And finally I may ask you, where is it? How far from you is it? How to get it? Where is it? A few centimeters away, a little bit over there somewhere. Where is it? How far from you is it? Somebody, I need to hear from you. You speak. No? Okay. So, would it be fair to say, are you? In it, or if it's no distance, it must be the same as where you are. So, if this is the case, then all your responses and answers are about you. All your responses can only be about you. You say that it is no distance, it is not an object. It is not an object. How can you perceive something which is not an object? It has no date of birth. It cannot fade. It does not depend on your belief. It was not created. Is it still true? Can it be owned by any group of people and used against other people? No. 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 Can it become sick? No. no. Can it be lost? No. 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 Can the mind exist independent or outside of it? No. no. How is it possible that you can know these things? How is it possible? Normally in life you are not asked questions like this. How can you answer these questions it's not coming from your mind, because if it's come from your mind, we would probably start disagreeing with each other and putting opinion. Is this an opinion? No. no. Is it a fantasy? No. no. A projection? No. no. 
are you in a state of hypnosis? No. No. And how would you know? <laughs> so if all these things that you say are true, you are only giving evidence about your own self. Could it be like this? Then, if this is so, who is this other person in you? Let's not go into this for a moment. Let's just <laughs> let's just say, as you are in the light of this seeing, hmm, is this a disappointing discovery? No. At the back? No. It's not a disappointing discovery. Is it information? No. 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 At this point, I often say, My God, you don't realize what you have discovered. And it is fine. Because the mind is still present somewhere within all of this, and it's going to come, and it is very cunning. It will say, "Yes, that was a nice little experience, but let's get back to reality." It may say any number of things, but from this place of what I call isness, everything that is being perceived is just a movement in this immensity of seeing. They come and go. And you will still have the sensation of expanding inside your infiniteness. What to do? Simply remain as you are. Honour it by just... Don't try to figure out anything, because then you will call your mind into play. It is not needed right now. And as much as you can, just keep listening to the invitation, and confirming where you can. And by itself, Effortlessly, naturally, spontaneously, intuitively, everything begins to flower in you. The depth, the maturity, the silence, the peace, the sense of universality, the openness, the falling away of fear, all of these things will begin to manifest much more clearly in you. But mind will come, and his play is to raise doubt in you. He will say, Yeah, that was yesterday, but today the isness is gone. What, is that the same isness you said was eternal and uh, everywhere present? Yesterday it was, but today it is gone. And how can it go? Is the isness? It's a word. It's not. It doesn't know itself as isness. It doesn't have a name. It's my words. I say, for for want of a perfect word and not being able to find one, I say it's just what is. Yeah. Is the isness merely a feeling? Can it be created by memory? No. No. Can it be lost? Just to honour the promise I made, that if you, by leaving your or suspending your ideas and thoughts about yourself, and then at the end of the exercise you can reclaim, pick them up, you are free to do that, of course. The stuff that you say I leave aside and you know, for whatever it is to you, precious or whatever, 
you may reclaim your stuff. And you see, nobody has stolen it.